Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is The Gaming Guy and today's video is obviously going to be going over the full drop list for week 12 of the spring summer season. This week is the Fox Racing collab week. Anyway, let's just get into this drop list. As always, comment down below what item you'll be going for. Personally, it will be the goggles or the helmet depending on their prices. But yeah. Let's get into this video. Okay, so obviously now we have the full drop list that we're able to go through and maybe talk about some prices, but not in too much detail. So obviously for the main part of this week, it is the Fox Racing Motocross collab uh, with a lot of different accessories that are coming out a lot more than we anticipated and pretty much all of it has been loved. Now of the items have over 2000 dislikes. The most disliked items are the pants, which have 1600 and that's it. So let's run through everything. Firstly, the most hyped item of the week uh, is the Supreme Fox Racing View goggles. Uh, the price for these is about $120 or $118. I went and looked into it earlier, but the estimate for them has been around, you know, $100 to £150, pounds, but we'll just have to wait and see. The next item is obviously, or is the LT gloves. Again, and another very hyped item because they're just basic gloves and in the red or the black colorway they're very low key and i'm sure a lot of people will be going for them i think that the multi sort of colorway is really underappreciated and i do really like this colorway on pretty much all of the items i don't know how it will sell but i'm pretty sure it might go a bit faster than the black colorway but we'll have to wait and see the next item is the v2 helmet now i looked into this and on the British Fox Racing site, or the UK version, it says that the V2 helmet costs about £220. However, on the American side, it puts it at about 200 or just under that. I think it was 189 was the number, so it's a little bit confusing. So the price will probably be between 180 to £300, anywhere in that range, I would estimate. Obviously, that's just an estimation. That's just my thought. Um, it's not what the price will actually be. We'll have to stay tuned to see what the price would be. I would love to get this in the red and white colorway as this is the main item that I'm going for. However, if I get card declined, I'll probably go for the goggles um, or I might go for the multi colorway in the helmet. There is also the debate of the different sizes as on the Fox Racing site, the helmets do come in multiple sizes. So you might have an opportunity to pick a different size and that gives you like a better chance of getting it. The next item is the motor hand grip. Obviously just a hand grip to go onto either your motocross bike some people have been asking whether it goes onto a normal sort of cycling bike, but we'll have to wait and see for the people who cop it. I hope that it's not expensive. I hope it's like 15 or 20 pounds. And if it is, I might cop it just to test out for myself. Obviously, we've got the set of the jersey top with the moto pants. Um, nothing I can really much say about these. I've already discussed them prior to this. They're just really cool pieces. I don't know how hot they will be because obviously for, they're for motocross so they might be a bit thicker but I'm sure they'll sell out quite quickly. The final item from the Fox Racing side is the Pro Frame Roos Flector Vest. Uh, this is just like, obviously these items are meant to be bought for people who uh, motocross or in general use bikes you know personally i wouldn't be going for this because if somebody who actually is going to use it during motocross or something wants to pick it up and i get it instead of them it's not sort of fair if they're going to be using it you know i have seen a lot of want to buy like want to buy posts where people have just been saying can people proxy things because they want to use it for like upcoming races and different things like that so now that we're finished with them let's run through all of the other items that are going to be accompanying this collab first up is the bandana track jacket at first i really liked this piece however after seeing the up close sort of pictures that they give only really the blue colorway looks or this turquoisey colorway looks really nice in it the other colorways don't do as much justice and it's not really an amazing piece we have another piping item or pipping however you want to say it it's the logo piping half zip sweatshirt i like this piece but for summertime it's a bit mismatched maybe in the like earlier time to this year it would have been a great piece to drop for like week one or week two because then people have got more use out of it it will still definitely be worn but i think it'll be worn in the latter part of the year next up we've got this new york tapestry denim chore coat this was meant to be released about four or five weeks ago i believe it was but it wasn't it's just got a design or print on the back or tapestry is the easiest way to say it on the back uh, of New York. I think this piece is really nice however again it's the wrong time of year to be dropping something like this uh, and overall there could have been a lot more done with it you know it just seems a bit lazy. Okay next we've got a jet sleeve zip up hoodie um, I'm not really feeling this at all it's not really my sort of piece um, but if you want a hoodie or a zip up hoodie <laughs> here's your chance. Next up we've got a tonal embroidery top embroidered perfect amazing colorway or text choice 
or whatever color they've gone for is just absolutely horrific for the match like the matching of it it just doesn't look great this main feature color is uh, this like greeny limey almost color and you cannot even read the text so i don't know what they were doing with that but hey ho next we've got a zip twill uh, crusher uh, it's got these uh, one of them like the hats has the same sort of color as the bandana track jacket in a way it's not really my sort of piece but i know a lot of people who purchase them so there's your opportunity you know to go for them next we've got a heather stripe top Again, it's not really doing anything for me. I really like the text that is included on it, but the shirt design just does, or top design just does, nothing for me. We've got a denim camp cap that is also coming out. Um, the pink colorway, or peachy pink colorway, I really like, as well as the normal denim color, and maybe the black colorway, but the other two don't really do anything for me. For the last couple of items, we've got a Devil Rayon shirt. Um, they've got like the satanic stars on them and then on the back it's just got a devil on it uh, a couple of different colorways uh, this piece doesn't really do anything for me either I can see why it's highly disliked next we've got cargo shorts again I swear we only had shorts last week or the week before drop but they're just dropping a load of colorways and then we've got the bandana track in the pants um, very ugly and lastly another camp cap it's a debossed corduroy camp cap about 60% of this week is extremely strong the rest is not as strong uh, but definitely if you're going to be going for anything you need to be ready and just like as fast as you can for tomorrow when you're going to cop. If I fail at getting the red and white colorway in the V2 helmet, I'll be going for the multi. If I fail at that, I'll be going for a pair of goggles. If I fail at that, I probably won't be going it for anything and I'll just take the L. Hopefully I don't, I'll take a W, but we'll see. Comment down below what item you'll be going for and what you think of this week as an overall. Other than that, I'll see you tomorrow for a live cop and yeah. If you enjoyed, like be much appreciated. Comment down below your thoughts, like I just said, and subscribe if you'd like to. See you all next time. Peace.